guys what a treat this was this is the static fire monday evening on ship 25 we know that the next combo is going to be ship 25 and booster 9 for the upcoming second starship flight which i know we're so excited for spacex lit all six of the raptor engines on ship 25 for about five seconds during this test we know that the next launch could be about six weeks away, according to Elon, and he is expected to do another Starship update on Twitter. That space has been postponed a few times, but we were able to glean some new details from an interview this weekend with Ashley Vance. Now, the mission is still the same as the first Starship orbital flight test. We didn't even reach stage separation during that test, so of course, that would be a major milestone. And with the help of the water-cooled steel plate, I think we could have a chance. During that weekend interview on Twitter with Elon and Ashley Vance, we did have Elon confirm that they will be changing their approach to stage separation. Elon confirmed that they have switched to a hot staging approach where the Starship upper stage will ignite its engines while still attached to the super heavy booster. He said, quote, we made sort of a late breaking change that's really quite significant to the way the stage separation works. Now, this translates to a meaningful payload to orbit advantage with hot staging that is about a 10% increase. Hot staging is not new. It's been used on Russian launch vehicles for decades, and I'm hoping to talk to Jonathan McDowell about this change soon. He's sort of an expert in this area. Now, this would mean for Starship that most of those 33 Raptor engines would be turned off, so only a few would actually be firing. And this is when Elon said the quote, never stop thrusting, so we fire a few of those engines to avoid the loss of thrust. According to spacenews.com, some modifications will be made to the super heavy booster. Elon says they're working on an extension at the top of the booster that is almost all vents. Of course, this is so that the exhaust from the upper stage can escape and they'll be adding shielding to protect that top of the booster from the exhaust. So while they're optimistic that the water-cooled steel plate will help them, they say that this new hot staging technique could be the most risky thing that we're seeing during this next test flight. Now, Elon also confirmed that they've made over a thousand changes for this next flight. So definitely will be interesting to see the hopefully new and improved process. Elon says he thinks they have about a 60% chance of reaching orbit for this next flight. So I want to know from you in the comments, do you think that it is much higher than 60% or do you think that that sounds about right? And speaking of taking bets and wagers, while we're on the topic, who do you think would win if Mark Zuckerberg and Elon Musk were to fight? I made a Twitter post about this and surprisingly it has about 1.7 million impressions. This is something that people are talking about, whether you like it or not. It's something that it sounds like Elon is really serious about. I think it's definitely a bad idea, but uh, we obviously want Elon to be in good working order, but who knows, maybe it's a long-term publicity stunt for Neuralink um, if he, for some reason, would need that after the fight. I was talking to both Elon and uh, Mark last night. Both guys are absolutely dead serious about this. Now, wait, 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 can we, can, uh, how I, do you, would you, tell us why you say that because they both said, yeah, we'll do it. <laughs> they both want to do it. Mark Zuckerberg hit me up first and said, is he serious? And I said, I don't know, let me ask him. I asked him and he said, yeah, I'm dead serious. Now the potential fight has become very controversial, but according to things on Twitter, it looks like Elon is really committed to this. He was asked the other day by Georgia St. Pierre, Elon Musk, I'm a huge fan of yours and it would be an absolute honor to help you and be your training partner for the challenge against Zuckerberg. Elon said, okay, let's do it. And apparently he has already done a practice session with Lex Friedman. Lex Friedman is not only a great podcaster, um, but he also trains jujitsu. So I'd be curious to see how that went but it really sounds like this could be for real. And I want to shout out Tony Bella, who designed my logo on Ellie and Space, as well as the logo for Marcus House. He makes amazing infographics and he 
made this on Twitter and Elon actually responded. He wrote, I just put this together as to what the hot staging of Starship might look like. I'm curious as to how many Raptors would be used. In this illustration, I depict it with three sea level Raptors firing only. I guess it all depends at what stage an abort would be necessary. And Elon actually responded to this not too long after it was posted saying three center Raptors of booster will fire at about 50% thrust during hot staging. There are really a tremendous number of changes uh, between the last uh, Starship plane and this one. Um, but I mean, well over a thousand. Um, so I think the probability of this this next uh, flight working is uh, you're getting to orbit is much higher than the last one. Um, you know, maybe it's like sixty percent. It, it depends on how well the we do at stage separation. So we, we, we made a uh, sort of late breaking change of, that's really quite significant to the way that stage separation works, which is to use a uh, hot, hot staging, what's called hot staging, um, where we light the engines of the uh, upper stage or ship um, while the, the, the first stage or booster, booster stage uh, engines are still on. So, so we, we shut down most of the engines on the booster, leaving just a few uh, running. Um, and, and then at the same time, um, start the engines on the ship or upper stage, um, which you can, obviously that results in kind of blasting the, the booster. So then you've got to protect the Boost it, the, the, the top of the boost stage from getting incinerated by the uh, upper stage engines. Yeah. Uh, so uh, this is uh, something that the Soviets and the Russians have used quite a bit in their rocket designs. Um, the performance, there's a, there's, there's a meaningful payload to, to orbit advantage with hot staging um, that, you know, is conservatively about a 10 percent improvement well depends on what it's being compared to but let's say in this case roughly 10 percent improvement in payload but uh if, if you if you basically just never stop thrusting <laughs> um so uh <laughs> that, 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 that's a that, that, that's a quote that sounds uh, like a t-shirt that's a t-shirt yeah, never stop thrusting elon musk it sounds like a t-shirt. It's something that I'm going to be making. So bear with me. I'm working on never stop thrusting. But there is a little bit of a, a clip of the rise of commercial space discussion between Ashley Vance and Elon Musk. So you heard it from the man himself, never stop thrusting. <laughs> Words of wisdom. Anyways, I hope that you guys enjoyed that update. As always, thank you so much for watching Ellie in Space. Uh, it's always exciting to see a static fire test, and I'm very much looking forward to the next Starship launch, especially because hopefully by that point, I will have my Tesla wrapped, ready to go, and taking that trip down to Starbase in style, and it should be pretty easy to spot me, so I'm excited to meet some of you guys down at the next launch. I met so many amazing people, even while I was on crutches on uh, the 420 launch, including the Musk family. So not sure how you top that, maybe watching the launch with Elon, but it's going to be very exciting and excitement guaranteed as we learned. And I think that we have a lot of uh, opportunities for this flight to be much more successful. But, you know, are you planning to go to the launch? This is something that I had even met some people that were there for the first launch and they had to leave like two days before, which is just oh, soul crushing. But I'm curious, if, leave a comment if you're planning to go to the next launch. As I said, I have, uh, I'm going to a friend's wedding from August 3rd through the 8th. So that's the only thing that if it was in those dates, I couldn't go. So don't make it during those dates because I definitely want to go. But it'll be exciting too when we have a higher launch cadence. And I think that, you know, we're heading toward that as well. So very happy to be covering Starship and its development. I'm so happy that I moved to Texas so that I could be here where all the action is. And I'm of course excited to take you on the journey with me. Mm -hmm.